Good afternoon, people, and how we doing? You know how I'm always looking for a pretty good deal. So I was on eBay the other day, and I finally found something to get rid of Big Black Nasty. Um, some of you may be wondering what Big Black Nasty is. Of course, all of you may be wondering that. I've dubbed that my uh, exhaust tip that's on my truck. I just don't like it. So, um, used to have an axle dump, uh, changed it, put an MBRP tail section on it, and then the only tip I had was one of those great big exhaust tips. So, <clears throat> it was chrome, give it a little bit of sand job, and I painted it black, and that's been on there for probably just about two or three months. And I just happened to be on eBay the other day and found something on there and pretty good deal i picked it up for 25 dollars and it looked like it was kind of worse for wear but i figure i could take it and make it just a little bit better i don't particularly care for the shiny look um i know you may argue myself because of my front bumper and grill but i think i'm gonna do the same technique on that so Let's open up this box and see what I just got today. All right, what I picked up was an MBRP four by six inch slash cut. It is the dual wall tip. And I give the guy $25 for this on eBay. I mean, it's got some smart, some smarks. Yeah, some smarks. That doesn't make much sense, does it? It has some marks. There we go. It has some marks right here and right here. Um, and then also right here on the tip. And what I'm gonna do is I have, I picked up some red scotch bright, and I'm just going to take this tip and make it a matte finish. It's stainless steel, it's not, uh, MBR tips are stainless steel, they're not chrome, so you don't have to worry about sanding through your chrome and worry about your nickel start flaking or, you know, the chrome is actually clear, worry about your clear start flaking, or your, sorry, let me try this again. Worry about your chrome starting to flake off of your nickel coating. So, you know, you don't, I don't know. I thought I could take and make it look pretty good. You got a little spot right there. These spots right there will be not noticeable at all. A little dent, but once I put the satin finish on it with my scotch bright pads you'll probably not be able to see them marks at all um it will sit on my truck pretty nice and you know these double wall tips are right around i would say brand new i think they run right around 70 dollars so you know i give him 25 for this one with uh with free shipping and you know, so therefore, you know, I, he didn't make much money on his tip, so uh, I'm tickled to death with paying 25 bucks for it. Um, right up here, I've got my red scotch bright, so I've got to get some of that out, and we can get to doing a little bit of uh, sanding on this tip. Okay, well, when, when you're doing this, you want to make sure and always go the same direction. That way you don't get a bunch of different marks on it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it, and you guys can you know go and take it upon yourselves and do it. So this this you know when you're using these red scotch brights, this is the, probably the most aggressive they have. Um, they have red, green, gray, and white. 
uh, red being the most coarse and white being the, the finest. So, you know, when I'm doing this, I want to make sure and always kind of go the same direction. That way all my brush marks look the same. And you can kind of see as I'm doing this, how it's just putting a nice satin finish on that. And taking away all them imperfections that's initially on, say what I did right there, I went like that. That's gonna put a bunch of little marks on there. I want to try and make sure I always go full length. That way you keep those your marks nice and uniform and it actually looks like it is a satin, you know, factory finish when you're done with it. Um, uh, that way it doesn't, I'm doing it again. Um, you know, I've done this a few times, several times actually, and I still to this day, you know, have problems trying to keep going that same pattern all the way through to get that you you know uniform look all the way through your piece your piece I mean your it should you know this this one scotch bright should do this whole tip pretty easy And if you wanted an orbital look, you could just use some sandpaper too, if you wanted to, in a DA gun. I like a kind of a, a rough finish anyway. So, you know, I, I think these marks here, these marks here, I think it really kind of gives a character myself. But, you know, that's just me. Okay, you can kind of see there how much better that looks from when I first took it out of the box. Um, I, I like that look a lot better than that shiny look. But it, you know, it's all personal preference on what you, the individual, wants for your truck. I mean, it's not what everybody else wants your truck to look like, it's what you want your truck to look like, or motorcycle, car, you know, whatever you may be working on. Some of them spots I am going real short strokes like that to try and get them out of there. But then when I'm done, just go over it and do that again. And that should put nice even strokes all the way through. On your, this is the embossed, this isn't the laser etched one right here. There you are gonna have, you don't have no choice but to kinda do that in between all these letters. I think that looks pretty good, really. I think it looks really good. Cause that'll sit on a truck like that. That one's the one that's gonna be more prominent right there. That side looks better, but this is the side you're gonna see from walking up to the truck from the back. I don't know if I can get any of these little spots out of there or not. Just got a little bit of road rash, but all in all, I'm very happy with it. Get this little section done back here, get it all sanded up, then we're gonna put this on the truck and see how it looks. I still gotta get that black nasty tip off there. I do have that one spot welded on in two places because it doesn't, didn't have a clamp for it like these do. These run off of an Allen head or some of them are hex head too. This one here is an Allen head. Well, there it is. And the pile of dust to go with it. So, uh, I don't know what you guys think, but I'll tell you what. I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. Um, you know, I took a $25 tip and made it look kind of almost new again by putting, you know, a, a satin finish on a tip. You got a little dent right there. Most of the marks, you know, there's just some few marks right there, but that's gonna be on top where you can't see it. Got a few marks right there, not a little dent, but you know what, for 25 bucks, 
it'll work for me. So for those of you who have not saw any of my videos before, um, this is what I'm calling my big black nasty tip. Um, I don't care for them. Um, actually, I look at the tape measure and see what actually what size it is. It is a, I thought it was a seven inch tip. No, it's an eight inch tip. Um, that's just the tip that was on the truck, as I said just a little bit ago. I did weld this tip on there, so I grabbed my Mechanic pod light and I gotta get my uh, cutting tool out and get that tip cut off. Before we get started cutting that off, I just wanna give you guys a little bit before. Excuse my truck, it is very, very dirty right now. We were at my son's football game and it had rained and we were parking in grass and it turned to mud by the time all the cars got out ahead of me. So this is a before. So if you kind of get a look right there, um, there's a look at it from the back on the before. So grab my cutoff wheel, which I have laying here and we'll get started. Uh, we're gonna do a little side-by-side -side comparison. <laughs> that one and that one that actually fits right down inside there that'd be kind of cool but no we're not doing that so we're going from that to that much better look just got a little bit of just got god I hate that i just had just a little bit of welding to clean off of there or some bead to clean off the grind off of there. And then uh, we can, and then a little bit on that side right there too. And then we can uh, get this new tip on here. Ah, oh, that takes care of that. All smoothed up. I'm gonna grab my pod light so I don't forget it. By the way guys, check out Mechanic. Mechanic. Awesome products. Ooh, bright light. Awesome products. You can't go wrong with Mechanic. Take these off. Go over here and grab this tip. Got to get an Allen wrench that fits that head. And then we'll get this on here. Alright, we're going to slide the tip on. Look at that, nice good fit. And grab my light again. I only want to go back just until that exhaust pipe starts coming into the six inch portion of the tip itself. Um, these tips kind of almost act like a megaphone to give the truck a little bit better sound. So right there is where I want it. And I want it turned like that. Um, so that's basically what it's going to look like. Tell me what you guys think. I just got to get it, that clamp tightened up. Uh, I like that look a lot better than, uh, I could go in just a little bit further, I guess, if I wanted to. You know, you can go clear in if you want. But if you look, you know, you got your exhaust sticking out there. I mean, it's all, it's all personal preference. Whatever you do on your vehicles, it's always personal preference. Don't let anybody sway you on your decision. If you something that you like, do it. Um, don't do something because somebody tells you, oh, uh, I don't know, you know, just, just do what you like. Do what you think looks good. You know, that's, it's, it's, it's all personal preference on anything and everything you do. Right now, I'm going to leave it so it's just starting to come into the uh, six inch portion of the tip. So I'm going to leave it sit about right there. I'm going to tighten it up and see what I think.
There we go. All done. Give me a comment. Tell me what you think. Move it in or leave it stick out. Definitely right there. We should not be getting any more black smoke on the side of the truck or soot build up at all. Looks like I could turn it just a little bit this way. Uh, probably loosen it back up to get that up mo or that top pointed portion towards the top. See all that black soot on there? Hopefully that'll take care of that. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. As always, give me a thumbs up, like this the video. <laughs> give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe. If you guys see and like what I'm or see, of course you see what I'm doing. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe. Um, see what I'm gonna do next. Go back and look at some of my other videos. You know, whatever you guys want to do, it's all up to you. It's your decision. Once again, guys and gals, thank you very much for watching. I got a problem talking tonight. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great evening, um, possibly a great weekend. Don't know if I'll have any more coming, but you never know when I'm going to upload. Thanks again, guys. Talk to you later on. Bye-bye.